Hi guys, I'm Liviu and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna go over the new Jumper T18 Pro transmitter. But first, I've talked about uh, Jumper T16 last year when it first came out. And I've said then that this is a very good remote. And I stand by that. Obviously they improved it. I personally replaced the gimbals with the whole sensor ones and also the internal module is present here because it has this uh, SMA connector there. I have finally switched to this remote last year in the um, winter time almost and that's because I had a pretty hard time switching to this form factor and also different throw on the gimbals because I was uh, very used to X90. I finally managed to switch to this one. So I like the form factor now. And let's take this out of the way. So let's talk Jumper T18 Pro. It comes with this uh, case. It's a very nice quality case. And inside we have the remote. Let's take out the remote first. Inside the bag you will find some bits and pieces for the gimbals. Also different springs for when you need more tension and that's it. Obviously you have some other bits and pieces like a neck strap and the USB type C cable to connect it to your PC. First impression. Well, first impression <laughs> is that uh, it looks like carbon, so yep. Little bit of pieces here and there are changed. For example, the speaker grill is not here anymore. It's way bigger and in the middle. And I guess for them to accommodate uh, this larger speaker in the middle, because the T16 speaker was pretty tiny, they moved the neck strap piece here, two power buttons. You can use them individual, or you can use them together. For instance, if you want to shut down the remote faster, you just press the both power buttons and the remote goes dead almost instantly. The gimbals look the same, but I will talk about them uh, later. They have something special in store for us. The layout is a little bit changed, as you can see. The small differences between them are I guess very minimal as I've said the next strap holder is here a little bit up and this one is down to accommodate a bigger speaker because here we have the power button so they moved the speaker from this tiny place here they moved it here and it's way bigger and you can actually hear it louder everything else it's kind of the same so uh, I will not go over that I have to say the feel of the buttons and the way they they Welcome to open TX. Yep. The way that they they feel, I don't know how to explain it. They feel nice. They feel quality. That's a good plus. So uh, this T18 is actually an um, evolution of the T16. They've changed some bits and pieces. I have to say I love this uh, carbon look. It feels more matured. It has some bits and pieces that some will not like, like uh, individual switch names do light up with a backlight. You can switch that off. It has now a 5-in-1 RF module um, that can do also 915 and 868 uh, MHz. I personally would not use it, but that's only my personal opinion. On the back. We have uh, two interesting things. This uh, back handle can uh, be folded down and uh, extended. And that's because you don't need for it to poke like this in your bag, in your backpack. So it's pretty interesting. The module bay here, where you can uh, plug in your crossfire or any other module. Battery case, which is a little bit different I don't know if you can see it or not, but now the SD card is here instead of here and also the battery connection is not here anymore and it's 
right there. 18650 bay also have three wires for you to balance it outside the remote because this remote doesn't have charging from uh, its USB. Be careful that in the bag you will see this um, foam pad that has to be stuck here because the battery can rattle if you don't do that. Let's go and see what's inside this remote. I already took out the screws to be easier. By the way, on this remote you can uh, modify and um, change the tension of the gimbals right from here. You don't need to, to take apart the remote. To take out the remote you will have six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six and also two on the top. You don't need to open them fully, just a bit so that the case can pass. Be careful that inside you will find an internal 2.5G antenna that's uh, stuck here. So now you will have this antenna for 2.5 and this one is for 900 megahertz frequency. I would recommend though to change this stock antenna that uh, the transmitter comes with. Inside I see a lot of changes. Not particularly in terms of schematics because the schematics are almost the same like the T16 or RadioMaster T16 because I know you know that uh, that remote came out. So it's uh, a little bit uh, swapped around. The PCB is now upper in the remote itself. The screen now has the connector downward and the screen connector is here. We can see here an I2C touch sensor for the future when we could upgrade the remote to use a touch screen. That's not included now because the, the firmware at this point in time cannot use a touch screen. So, yep they didn't see the reason to, to put a, a touchscreen inside. But the PCB is made for a touchscreen, so yep. A big difference that I see between this remote, the old one, and the Radio Master is that the PCB itself is now bigger because, I don't know if you can see it, but the PCB goes up, 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 up until here. And all the connections for the switches and pots which are not flat cables anymore, are proper connections. In RadioMaster and old Jumper T16, the PCB would stop here. You would have a flat connector connecting this section to one section here. This is the 5-in-1 module that on this side has the 2.5G frequency and on the other side it has the 900 megahertz. They went the last mile and used some very high quality encoders for the gimbals. So the gimbal is no longer using a potentiometer or a hole sensor, but rather they use a special encoder which is faster than hole and it has a very long uh, life from what Alps says because these are Alps encoders and that's a pretty big plus if you ask me. This remote is definitely an improvement over the Jumper T16 Pro whole sensor Pro or whatever model they had. This one is way, way better than the previous ones. This is my gut feeling that the difference in price is noticeable in the quality of uh, what's inside the remote. Not having uh, USB charging inside the board i rather be safe and uh, charge them outside the remote and be safer. <laughs> uh, maybe even take a specialized 18650 charger and have more batteries to carry on you. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. And as you can see, we have here the, um, the names of the switches and everything lighting up. But no worries, you can just go into settings 
And where are you, where are they? Backlight, backlight. Keys backlight. So you can just turn them off from there. You do still have this on the top. Overall, I would say that this remote is um, way better than the Jumper T16 from last year. They improved a lot on the inside and also the outside look is uh, way appealing to me at least. I don't know for you guys, but I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I would have loved to have the... Um, Radio Master T16S also to compare them. Yep, I've seen some uh, of um, the reviews out there and I don't know, my gut feeling says that this one is uh, better quality in terms of the materials quality. I'm very curious to hear your opinions in the comment section and um, thank you again very much for supporting. Until next time, bye!